Hi everyone, it's Catherine again. So I just wanted to do a continuation of the swap that I hosted on Life's a Scrap Beach, which is the Curtain Call Photo Pocket Mini Album page. Um, this is my, the first one. This is group two, so the, I'm in both groups. So this is the one that I ended up making for group two. I have a envelope that was die cut using the Stampin' Up! scalloped uh, envelope die. I put a little I Am Roses flower, mini rose flower there. There's a wooden, miniature wooden um, clothespin, and then inside I have just little tickets here. Um, but you could put like mini flowers, or I mean, sorry, mini pictures that you have in there. I use some black lace, and then I use this three drop um, pearl strand that I bought from Carla's Etsy store. Ladies, I'll check, I'll put her link down below so that you can check out her Etsy store. And then the tag that I put on the inside, I made it a little bit different because I kind of cheated a little bit. I don't know. Maybe some don't call it cheating, but I made a little fold out so that you could put pictures or if you wanted to journal something on the side. But I had bought these um, tags a while back and I had bought quite a few of them because I thought, you know, I'd use it for a project or maybe for a swap or something. So I thought it was a perfect color coordination towards this paper line. So I added that in so that you could just put something on the back of it or whatever, but that goes inside so there's a pocket inside this tag and then there's just a plain backing and then I just insert that back into the pocket. On the back side again I just have a regular photo mat here and it's just one sided so that you could put a photo there and it just goes inside and you can journal and stuff. I inked all my ed edges of my papers. Sorry it's just harder getting back in and then I think I got this from either Juliana or Susie Crafter who ended up buying flowers from their local dollar store in the US. So I went to the local dollar store here in Canada in Edmonton and I found these beautiful flowers. I took them all apart and I misted them and sprayed them and then I used a bottle cap and I put um, a piece of the paper from the curtain call line and epoxy sticker on the top of it and then I used some of the um, leaves that came with this flower from the dollar store and then I also used the flourish die from Tim Holtz. I cut it in half. So I dyed it and cut it in half so that it came in two sides so that it gives it a little bit of extra to coordinate with the front side with this red color. And then I used a velvet um, trim here, uh, ribbon. And then here if you can tell a little bit um, the way that it shines on the lighting, it's tough to see, is flat pearl strands of flowers. And I got that also um, actually as a gift um, from Carla when I placed in I think it was my last order with her. She added that extra for me. Thank you, Carla. I did not expect it. That is an awesome, awesome gift. So that is my page. The next one is by Vicki. Again, Vicki was in both. So this is the front of her page. She's got flat back pearls here. There's a tag here. Um, there's a little charm here. This is made with love. There's charms here that is like a purse with that is a purse and an elephant. Um, and then she's got this little decoration here with some lace and some flowers, some brads and a stick pin. And I love again, ladies, look at this beautiful dangle type of charms that are on some sort of a ribbon or seam binding. Got to figure out where she gets it because obviously she's from the UK so it's a little bit different than here. And on the other side she used the black lace here with some red, red ribbon. There's a button here, black button, and she used some sheer red. And then again there's another photo pocket here for you. But I love is this beautiful, beautiful, big, thick lace that she put on here, ruffled lace. Stunning. It just gives it a totally different look. So she did an awesome job. Little section here for you to be able to put a title and stuff. So great work, Vicki. The next one that we have is from Kim. Kim ended up doing one. Um, I, I don't know some of her techniques. I need to learn some of these techniques that she used, but there's this, this bunch here. So if I bring it up closer, can you see that? I don't know how she made it, but it looks like it's just the paper. Um, and she just wet it and scrunched it up to make it like a button. What a great idea. I mean, I never would have thought of that. So I'm going to have to see if you can give me that little technique that you used. And she added a few of the tags and stuff like that from the paper line. And then this is the film reel part of the paper. And on the other side, she has um, a Tim Holtz clip here with the record and a tag here with the lady. Um, and then there's this here. And so if I actually move this over, this actually comes open so you can see that it was a little extra 
dimension to it so and then there's a pocket here as well so that was Kim's the next one is from Belinda Belinda has this one here she used some of the papers here she did um, a tag on the insert oh looks like there's another one and there's another tag here some flat um, pearl I mean sort of flowers here with a flat back pearl there's a metal um, ornament here it's like a keyhole with some extra tickets and then on this side she used um, a tag that she had done some it looks like um, either it's a rub on or it's um, a stamped image and on the other side it's just textured and then there's some bling here it looks like a um, bottle cap but it's not a bottle cap it's just a framed resin piece that she ended up using part of the paper line and used the epoxy over top again and what she ended up doing is that she used a paper clip on the side so, oops and so this way if we just she didn't seal it so that we have the choice if we wanted to keep it open um, we could and you can put more pictures in here more journaling great idea um, so that was there and the last one I got for group number two is this one. This one is by Tutami or Leilani, if you know her by her name. Um, I don't know what dye this is. This is a woman typing on a typewriter, sitting on a chair. She used some stickles here. And then there's this beautiful postcard that she made. Look at this. I don't know what stamp set that is, but it is stunning. And then on the back side, it's like a postcard. Beautiful. Look at that. Just amazing the details that she has on there. I love this. Um, and then she used some lace here with some flat back pearls. Um, she used the piano keys here, but what she did was she used glossy accents. You can see that shine there. And then she stamped an image and it looks like it was just embossed there. And then on the back side she has here is the rosette again from Tim Holtz. And then it's just a little center that has the metal embellishment that says love, use some of the ticket. She used the film reel here, but she ended up using the bubbling effect. So she glued it so that it looked like a little bubble effect. I love that. Um, two pearl sprays here and some bling. There's a tag here that she misted with some flowers and stuff and it's got her information on the back. But what I wanted to show you is you see that there was this paper clip and this is the last portion of it. So if you take the paper clip off, she again did the same thing. She made a pocket, but she stamped an image that was um, embossed here. But if you pull out this image, this page, look at this. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's the full size of the actual mini album page, but it's tucked with the flap and it's got a little centerpiece here and it, these are embossed images here. So it just goes back into the center like that. And then she just used the paper clip in order to hold that flap down. Great idea. Love the work to Tammy. I've heard a lot about your work and that's why I invited you into this swap and I'm glad that you accepted my offer. Um, but the one last shout out that I need to do is I ended up getting an amazing hostess gift. To Tammy, I, I don't even have the words to tell you how much I appreciate what you've given me. So there was quite a bit of stuff, ladies. If you see, I've got some notepads here. Each of them have like 70 pages. Beautiful, beautiful notepad. There's a Heidi Swap double-sided stamp set, and it's diamond, so it's solid on one side, and then it's um, just the border edging around it. This is, this, and this is a stamp set. It looks like that she used on her actual um, swap, and it is a Flourish clear stamp set by Martha Stewart. Stunning. I love flourishes. So this one, I know I'm going to end up getting a lot of use out of. She made me a beautiful card. Um, and it says thanks so much on it with some pearls and some seam binding here and then just a little note for me um, about hosting the swap and there's a little stamp set here by Technique Tuesday and this stamp set has like a clock and time well spent for me and you um, some little wings and some little um, just script here so that's really cute there too and I think there's also this which is just little clasps that you would use from sewing so it's great little embellishments to use for your altered art or mini pages and stuff like that a way to clasp something closed so beautiful thank you so much Leilani I did not expect 
the amount of stuff that I got from all the ladies that sent me hostess gifts. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate it. I am going to put these to great use. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.